This exploit has been mentioned in my comments in the PZ subreddit, which makes it fair game in my book to discuss. The way I remember it being explained is that you need to spam push between your attacks, but it wouldn't be a Red Inara video if I didn't refine that and explain, probably incorrectly, why I think it works. Let me lay out the anatomy of an attack. It starts with the swing, then comes the recovery, and finally, the delay. As you have probably found out through natural gameplay, while you cannot attack again during the delay portion, you can almost immediately push. There's two interesting things going on here. First is that you cannot cancel the attack animation directly into a push animation. It only animates after a certain point. And the second thing is that it uses no endurance if you push during an attack animation. There must be code specifically for detecting that. That leads to two questions. In order to cancel the delay, how many times do we have to push during the attack and when? As much as you guys might be okay with the sweaty button mashing gamer look, my thumb would get tired. The answer? Once, and right about here. If you overlay a push near the end of the recovery phase, the delay is cancelled and you almost immediately attack again. This doesn't make sense to me, as there is a delay to attack after a push. This means something is going wrong with the code detecting the interruption and is likely the source of the exploit. So there it is, the attack delay cancel, a very simple exploit stretched into a not so long video. However, as you will see in future videos, this kind of exploit targeting the animations applies to more than just the attack animations. 